people that, you know, John, you do, you're really good at our research. For people that don't know what happened between, you know, Nick Saban and got Dion talking now. So the way Dion, so obviously Nick Saban came out and made some excuse type comments about, you know, listen, man, Alabama fans, you know, things aren't going to probably look the same for the next decade as they have the last decade because, uh, you know, rules are changing and we can't take advantage of the new rules like other teams are. Texas got probably more money than Alabama maybe. Um, But he – in this, he never said names, but he said schools, and because of that, the coaches of these schools took offense to it to some extent, especially Jimbo Fisher. And yeah. he came out and had a scathing report and he called press conference the next morning and had a scathing, you know, take on whatever. Dion came out and said, "Oh, I got something to say," and so it sounded like he was going to come out and just roast Nick Saban, but he kind of. He kind of let left let him off the hook, almost like you know what, Nick Saban apologized type. You know, I want to drop it too, but Nick Saban wasn't taking shots at me and Jimbo. He was taking he was talking about boosters. He was using our names, our school names, to to make money for himself and stuff like that. So he he kind of like gave Saban an out, almost in a sense. You know what I mean? We're like, all right, you know what, we can end it. But I don't think it's over with Jimbo. I think he's still got stuff to, he wants to say or and whatever. So, but I, I think what really is going to make the difference is when they play. You know what I mean? When when they play, that's going to be the thing that October eighth. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be super hype. So yeah, we got we're going to go down there. I try to make something happen. Sure. I want to see them Jackson State games, baby. I do. Oh. I definitely do. Oh, For real. But um, oh. I mean, just my take on this, honestly, just Dion responded. I mean, I, we were just talking about this. Uh, you know, pretty much off, you know, off the show, like I said, pretty much just agreeing with John, like Saban was pretty much just trying to use him. It's not really talk about him, but they were just trying to tr- try to use his name to, you know, of course, get, you know, boosters and donors like John was saying. Um, but I, I think I was asking a question offline. I was like, well, because <laughs> they was just literally like in an Allstate commercial together. So I was like, just kind of confused <laughs> on like, you know, kind of like where the beef was coming from or whatever. But I mean, we all know that's just, you know, for public, you know, eye and, you know, money, I should say, whatever. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, it didn't seem like, you know, De- Dion was mad. Um, he's really, you know, seems like he's been over it, honestly. Um, he's just ready to go out there and play football, honestly. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think it's hurting either one of them because, I mean, let's be real. I mean, if you're a recruiter that's trying to recruit for Jackson State, I should say, I mean, no disrespect to Nick Saban, but if I'm somebody that wants to play football, I mean – trying to go learn from Deion Sanders, I feel like that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good, that's an honor in my opinion. Especially if I'm a cornerback, man. If I'm a cornerback. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially like if you're on the defensive side or whatever. And like I said, there's no disrespect to Nick Saban because I'm sure Nick Saban knows the game from, you know, from head, his head to toe. You feel me? But I mean, just, I just feel like when I, my meaning is, I just feel like Dion is just, he's letting it go because at the end of the day, he knows that his name already goes a long way. So he's not really saying that it's affecting him at all. So I mean, I just like I said, like John was saying, and he's just pretty much letting it go at this point. I mean, yeah, Dion has used his own name to get attention and 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 maybe money, which is good for which is his good team, thing. right? But but you know, but using someone else's name that that can piss people off, right? Like when you know when you you know Dion's definitely like you know, listen, I have name power, I pull, I'm gonna take shots at the league, NFL this year, I'm gonna you know do these things to get TV crews in here and get attention on our kids. Um, but you know, yeah, this is the, I don't really have an analogy for it, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it's almost like if, if the city kept coming and fixing up your street and they never came fixed up my street and I was like, man, they, you know, Hey, they always coming over fixing up and, and you were, and you took it personal. You know what I mean? Cause you live on that street. You're like, Oh, John taking shots at me. And I'm like, Oh my bad. Well, it's my guy. I'm not taking shots at Walt. I'm just saying like, why can't we get what they get? And I think that's what Saban was doing. He was like, I'm not taking shots at Jimbo and he came out apologizing and everything. That being said, I mean, you said it, so you, you know, you gotta, you gotta live with it. It's not like he didn't say it, but, um, but yeah, I, I don't think he meant it the way it came across, but Jimbo, man, he ain't, he ain't taking this line down. And that's what we, I love this. Cause it's like, it's so weird to see, not weird, but it, it's so fun and interesting to see like guys like in their seventies who care this much passionately about football still. 
I mean, you think about Nick Saban, man. Like, sure, he can pay. You know, I'm not saying he did, but rumor has it he's paying kids. He can pay these kids here and there to come play a ball for him, but he's still out every day recruiting, 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 like at his age. Like, the dude works. Um, they all do. So it, it's fun to see, like, the, how much these guys care about it and having Dion add to it, is, it just makes it better. Well, I mean, that's, but that's another thing that's the difference between the two of them, though. With Jimbo is, like, taking it, like, to a, a personal level, though. Like, Dion, sure. Dion, he just, like, you know, hey, you know, I'm just – be a Dion, you know what I'm saying? My my player is gonna come to me regardless. But Jimbo, he's like trying to get like the background of Nick Saban. Like he's just tap. He's trying to say like he's trying to take it outside of football. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and and, and Dion's smart too. I mean, he knows like you know. What I mean, his school is up and coming now. He doesn't need to be giving them bad PR by getting into That's beef, a good point. beefs with these point. guys who you know. Because listen, it, it, let's just say he does able to land one of these teams on his schedule next year. You know, then then that's going to be a hotly contested game. And when he gets, you know, let's just say they do get smacked, thirty four to seven or something, right? Let's, then it just it's bad PR for them. So I, I think he's playing this right. Dion's definitely the smartest one here. 